Hi guys, oh, welcome back. So today I'm excited. I am finally gonna put up an arbor right here for this entry point to lead into my Tropicana cottage that I've been working so tirelessly and hard on. And I'm... That was a B. So, as I was saying, so on Instagram, maybe like two weeks now, it's been about two weeks, I posted four different arbors that I wanted to get opinions on. If you're not following me on Instagram, I highly suggest that you should. It's at Garden Addicts. So on Instagram, I posted four separate arbors. I'm gonna put them on the screen so you guys can get an idea of what they look like. And everyone voted their favorite. I think number two and three was a tie. And then that same night, I found something else that I fell in love with instantly and I did not post it. I ordered it and it was delivered about two days ago and it's been sitting out here. So let me show you. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys what this area looked like. So so this is what the entry point looks like. I have a pallet of fertilizer and some soil covered up underneath this tarp. Um, so you will come in here right off the driveway. So this is the bed I was telling you guys about. It's the same thing on both sides. So I'm going to extend out. I have all this planted space. I'm going to extend this bed out a little bit more, put some rocks around it, and um, I'm going to plant this up as well. Eventually in the fall, I would love to have like a low growing evergreen hedge put in to back up the hibiscuses because once the hibiscus are dormant as they are right now there's not much to look at right here so that is the plan and the same thing on this side I mean I have a lot going on I have a lot of tarps and stuff that I was using to cover up the soil some trash so we're gonna have all this cleaned up but for right now the focus is to put in an arbor right in here it looks too close right now I have to you know separate them a little bit further apart but let me show you the arbor so this is the arbor in this box right here. It's been out here for about two days and it rained for both days. So the box is just, it's really falling apart and it's soft. <laughs> um, there's water in here. So let's just get this out. Hope it doesn't rust, but if it does, it's just gonna look beautiful anyway. So friends, it is extremely heavy and bigger than what I expected. So I'm having my husband help me set it up. I'm gonna speed through that part and then we're gonna place it in area. We're gonna discuss it because honestly, it's not even black and I thought it was black. It is like a gray gunmetal type color. So I wanna say I'm disappointed, but I'm not satisfied so far, but it's a gorgeous, it's, it's gorgeous. It's two piece. Oh.
Because it looks so, like even if it comes so. Like it look. Don't look it. It looks like it turned to so. Even frying yourself, it looks like it turned to so. Not true. Yeah, and if it twists. Yeah, and if it like twists. Okay. I don't know how much to turn it, like, I'll turn it. It, 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 it pull this, this way. Instead of, so that if it, leave your side, I'm just push down. Something off, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, they say they want to come along further. Up at, up, thing up at front, the one up at front. Can't go down further, Joe. <sighs> Friends, so this is where we are. The level is saying that it's leveled, but our eyes are saying something and seeing something else. It's leaning to this side. We don't know, we've been playing around with it, trying to fix it, but I don't know. Imperfection is still beautiful, so we're gonna let it go for now, okay? Because once the vines start to grow up this, you're not, I don't think you'll be able to tell that it's leaning. I don't even know. So in the front here, we have these compactum hollies. Now this one is leaning, it's a little crooked by the way it was planted in the container. I just have to twist it a little bit, turn it around, replant it and shave off all of this frost damage. So I bought them in the winter time and potted them up. So I'm guessing that's what happened. I'm also thinking to put them in ground and put something else here that's in ground, but a little bit taller. I'm not quite sure yet, but I have these. So I'm gonna work with them for the season and see what transpire as the season progresses. I might change my mind, you know, nothing is set in stone, but I love the arbor. I really, really do. There is a flaw that is bothering me and it's where the base and the top connects. They could have done a better job. They could have done a better job. It is hideous. I'm thinking of sending it back. I'm gonna sleep on it for a couple days because every time I look at it, it's just, it's not seamless. They just, but other than that, it is heavy. It's worth the money. It's sturdy. And it's beautiful, I love the design. It is simple, but yet it still has character. It is gorgeous, and I now officially have an entryway into Tropicana Cottage, and I'm excited! I am so excited, it's slowly coming together. Next thing what I'm gonna do, I'll probably work in the garden later on tonight. It's a beautiful day today. I am going to re-edge this space, straighten everything up, clean up my mess, everything that you can see in the camera here, the bikes and the lawnmower, all of that off the driveway, you know, pack up the tarps and all that good stuff, and it's coming together, okay? It is coming together. <sighs> anyway, that is it for today, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.